Hey guys, my name is Sean McCormick, and I'm here to tell you how one picture that you can take can save a life today, thanks to Traffic Cam. Um, Traffic Cam is a nonprofit organization that developed a software that helps law enforcement fight human trafficking with your help and my help, and just the help of those involved in uh, regular everyday things. Um, and to teach you about why this is so impactful, I do have to teach you a little bit about how big sex trafficking is, why you should take part in joining Traffic Cam, and um, what to know about the internet regarding sex trafficking. To start, sex trafficking is a huge industry. As you can see in this graph, the illegal profits made from human trafficking, such human trafficking in general, consists of multiple parts, such as the forced labor exploitation, domestic servitude, and sexual exploita exploitation. What we might know as slavery of old, which would be forced labor exploitation, is not even the slavery of today. $99 billion is illegally made off of sexual exploitation uh, in, across the world, which accounts for 66% of human trafficking, which is absolutely insane, right? But luckily, this stuff doesn't happen in the United States. I'm kidding. It absolutely does. And just to show you how much it does, Every single year, an estimated 14,500 to 17,500 people are trafficked from other countries into the United States to be human trafficked and sold for uh, sexual exploitation, sold for, sold for sex. Um, and an additional 200,000 um, American children due to trafficking are at risk and tra uh, are stuck in that industry. And just these numbers, while they're estimations, because it can be hard to know the exact number of cases due to the fact that some of them are not even found yet, are still insanely large for our communities and our America. Someone that you know, someone that you love could be at risk uh, or could be already a victim. Or how about, forget that, the people that are victimized by sex trafficking are people too. And it doesn't matter if we know or love them. It is our duty as Americans, as good people to step in there and do what we can. Um, and so what can we do? Well, we can start with a basic understanding of how sex trafficking exists and so we know how to fight it. Today, three out of four victims are trafficked, trafficked online. Pimps and other sexual abusers will post lewd or nude photographs of of women and men, although mostly women, most people trapped in uh, victims of sexual trafficking are women, um, are posted online as forms of advertisement. And they'll take these lewd or nude pictures in hotel rooms because they are discreet, they are ambiguous, and they are relatively cheap. They can kind of hide where they are. Um, and while internet, the internet can be used for these horrible things to support this just heinous empire of evil that is the sex trafficking industry. The internet does so many great things for us. I mean, that GPS uh, or that you use on your phone when you're trucking or the email that you got on your phone just now for that business meeting that you have um, at that conference in a couple hours or um, your laptop that you fill out your reports and you email your and communicate with your coworkers with, or that text that you just spent, sent to your girlfriend or your wife or your kids. Those are all examples of how the internet can be such a positive thing to connect us and unite us as a society. So yes, while the internet has negative aspects and is used for something as horrible as sex trafficking, we can also use the internet to fight sex trafficking. And this is where Traffic Cam comes in. And this is where we, as supporters of Traffic Cam, need your support. And we need you not only to download the app, but use the app uh, or the website. Traffic Cam is an application and a website run by a nonprofit organization. Through Traffic Cam, what you do is you take a photo, multiple photos of your um, hotel room, and using these photos, uh, they crowdsource all the photos. You let them know what room you're staying in, at what hotel, and you take your pictures and you upload them. Using this information, um, law enforcement can compare the database of photos from Traffic Cam to photos that they'll find online advertising sex. Uh, advertising for sexual uh, sexual exploitation and human trafficking uh, by comparing these these photos the so like there are softwares that will tell them exactly what hotel what hotel room and uh, they're in and then those uh, law enforcement uh, officials can go and talk to the hotel management find out when they were staying there and they have a lead on how to fight this human trafficking um, traffic cam is a great app the download takes just a few seconds and it does not take that that much data on your phone 
So even if that's something that you have to remotely worry about, that is not a worry or traffic cam. And if that's not your way, you can upload your photos online as long as you are at the hotel. Um, integrating traffic cam into your hotel checkout routine is going to be as memorable, as easy, and as seamless as checking the sink to make sure you got your toothpaste bottle or I mean, everyone's got to check underneath the bed to make sure they don't forget any socks. That's like something that everyone does. And human traffic cam, uploading your pictures of your hotel room can be as memorable, as seamless, and as reliable as those things. Um, but I'm not asking you to download an app. And I'm not asking you to visit a website. And I'm not asking you to donate. I'm asking for you for your time. It is a free download, free use of the app. Please don't just become idle, idle downloaders. Don't become idle listeners. Download Traffic Cam and use it next time that you travel. I know so many people that travel weekly to monthly for business trips are always on the road um, driving a truck. Or sometimes there are people that just travel every every so often trying to visit new places um, and they stay in hotel rooms for that. Just take a couple seconds out of your day. Download Traffic Cam and when you do go on a, on a trip, make sure to upload your photos to Traffic Cam. Because that photo that you upload could alert law enforcement to where someone that is being sex trafficked, abused, and victimized is. And that photo that you upload could save a life today. Thank you so much for your time. And I urge you not just to listen, to but to be active participants in the fight against sex trafficking. Thank you.